Okay, today's notes on limits and continuity. We have continuity at a point. If the scenario is true, given a function f of x, and it has to be defined on an interval containing value c, then f is continuous at that point if the limit as x approaches c for that function is the value f of c. If not, or the limit doesn't exist, then we say that f is discontinuous. At that point, so a function is continuous if the limit uh, it exists and the condition above is true. And if not, then it's discontinuous. For example, if we have a picture where we've got a c value, it's one of our x values, and we've got some f of x function, as long as the limit exists and is f of c, it is continuous it would also be shown that we have another graph of a new function. Here's point C. The limit exists, but f of C is this point up here. And since f of C is not the same as the limit, approaches some point down here, then this is discontinuous. Another example. Got a function of x like this, and here the limit does not exist as it approaches the c value. This one approaches that value, this one approaches that value, therefore, this one is also discontinuous. We can also have a special kind of continuity called a one-sided continuity. So let's take a look at that. A one-sided continuous function has left is called left continuous at x equals c if the limit as x approaches c from the left gives you the value that you're looking for and it is right continuous if the same thing happens but from the other direction. For example, this graph of f of x, there's your c value, 
the left is continuous because as you approach the limit, you get the value f of c. But the right is not continuous. Because as you approach the limit on this side, it doesn't equal f of c. It jumps up there. Another scenario that can happen is if one or both of the one-sided limits are infinite at x equals c, we have an infinite discontinuity. For example, if you have a graph and at some c value you've got an asymptote This graph has an infinite discontinuity at x equals c. There are a number of laws of continuity. There are four basic laws. Um, and all of them are based on this premise. If you've got two functions, f of x and g of x, and those are both continuous. Um, at x equals c, then these functions are also continuous. The first one is if you add the two functions together or subtract them. The second one is the multiplication rule. If you multiply by any constant, the third one is if you multiply those two continuous functions together, and the fourth basic one is a quotient. If you divide the two functions that are continuous, you'll get a continuous function uh, as long as g of x doesn't equal 0. And there's an obvious problem with the denominator equaling 0.